All right. I didn't know it was a trick. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please tell the audience your name? Rob. Rob. So Rob has been to Magic Masters. Yes. Are you good at following directions? It depends on what the directions tell me to do. It depends on what the directions. <laughs> Maybe we'll come to this side here, to the middle. And we'll show these guys what happens at Magic Masters. OK, so these are sponge balls. OK? Let's see how good you are at following directions. Hold your, hold your hands out like this. Go like this. Now go like that. Good. All right. We're going to do a practice run through first, just to get you used to the routine, OK? So I'm going to take this ball, and I'll put it in my hand like this. Then I'll take the other ball and squeeze it. When I squeeze it, close it tight in your left hand and turn it over so I can't get it away. That's all we're going to do. You think you'll be able to do it again? Because that was just practice. I think I can. You think you can do it? I think I can, yeah. OK. And let's turn here so everyone can see. OK. So take this ball, put it in my hand like this. Take the other ball, squeeze it, close it tight in your left hand, turn it over so I can't get it away. You think I'll be able to get this ball? Yes. Come on. He's holding it tight. Let's have some faith in Rob. You think I'll be able to get his ball? No. Do you think he'll be able to get mine? No. No. <laughs> no, I'm holding mine tight too, and I'm the magician. <laughs> but if I just wave like this and blow, my ball disappears. That's part one. For part two, turn your hand over. Open it. Show them two balls. Now. That's part one. For part two, let's start again. Put one ball in each hand. OK, I'm going to grab one, two. OK, close it real tight. Now do me a favor. Blow on your hand. Once more. And a last time for luck. <laughs> Did you feel what happened after you blew? I, I didn't feel a thing. You didn't feel a thing? No. Turn your hand over. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Rob. Congratulations. At Magic Masters, a magician performs illusions similar to this one and then sells the secrets to interested audience members. I bought three secrets that night <laughs> for $59.95. And when we got back to our hotel room, I started fumbling around with the cards and props. And after about half an hour, I looked at my wife and I said, baby, these tricks are hard. <laughs> she looked at me with her big brown eyes and said, as only a wife can say, we paid $60 for those stupid tricks, so you better practice. <laughs> I didn't need any more motivation than that. So I practiced. And I practiced, and practiced, and practiced. As I practiced, I wondered if anyone would actually fall for these stupid tricks. Because the secrets were unbelievably simple. My wife graciously reminded me, you fell for them about an hour ago. <laughs> The pleasure of being married. <laughs> but she was right. And then it hit me. Why did I fall for those tricks? Because magic is real to those who want to believe. Let's dissect magic for a minute. The SpongeBob illusion that I just did with Rob. There's a practical, logical explanation to how that's done. Would you like to know it? Yeah. Sure. 59.95. But that kind of magic is called close-up magic because there's no smoke, there are no mirrors, just simple sleight of hand, and misdirection. But the average person doesn't say, wow, that was some really great sleight of hand. Wow, that was some really great misdirection. The average person says, wow, that was some really great magic. 
So when you and I go to a David Copperfield show, we suspend our disbelief and choose to enjoy wonderful, awe-inspiring magic for an entire hour. And then what happens? We leave the arena and we immerse ourselves in the day-to-day -day drudgery of our lives and the pursuit to the answers of endless questions. Why do we do that? Magic is real to those who want to believe. So here's the key. The magic that we choose to see when we watch David Copperfield, Chris Angel, David Blaine, Houdini perform is the magic that we must choose to see in our everyday lives. And we can do that with one simple formula called the magic formula.